today I'm going to go over the steps that you'll need to do in order to make yourself a cute llama with a blanket. Uh, in your kit today, you'll have one of these and you'll also have some yarn. That's all that came with the kit and that's the main thing you'll need. Also, some scissors, some tape, and some markers. Um, and if you're really ambitious, you can have some sequins or pom-poms or other things to decorate the, the llama when you're done um, getting it ready with its blanket. Okay, first thing, take your scissors, cut your llama out. Cut around the edges of the black all the way around till you have a llama like so. After that, you there's five little lines on the top and on the bottom. Hope you can see that. Go ahead and just snip down to the bottom of the lines on the top and on the bottom. All right, after you get that done, you'll need your tape and you'll need one of your um, pieces of yarn. All right, so take your yarn, um, put it on the back of your llama, just a teeny little bit of it, and hold it there. Then you can grab about that and you can grab your tape and tape that little piece down on the back so that it stays there all right so that's how it looks from the front go to the bottom and hook it into that notch then back to the top and the bottom back over again so that you have up and down um, pieces and that's going to be what you'll weave through when you get all the way done it'll look like that and go ahead and tape that piece onto the back and actually cut it so that there's not quite so much of it hanging off like that and go ahead and put a piece of tape on that. All right, so the next step is kind of the hardest one. At this point, it should look like this. Uh, while you weren't looking, I drew a face on this one and it looks kind of mean. Uh, anyway, you, there's a couple different ways. You can just tuck, tuck it in um, you could put a little piece of tape here. You can try that. Um, but yeah, this is the trickiest part. You just don't want the tape to show, but you want the yarn to kind of stay where it is when you get started. Okay, so there it is. You take your yarn and you do with the already see how it's on top of the yellow. So this one will go on top. Then you're going to put it so on the next one it's under. Won't be fun to watch, and it's hard to do facing a camera, but you'll try your own and you'll get the hang of it. You're going to go over and under and over and under and over and under. Okay, so here's how that first row looks. Um, you can, when you get to the end, you can move it up with your finger and see how you're on top of this one. So to turn around and go the other way, you're just going to tuck it in. I have to put it down to do that, but I'll show you in just a second. All right, so then I tucked it under, and now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over, under, over, under, over, and under till I get to the end. And then wherever I'm, I'm over, then I'm going to go back under and keep going back and forth and back and forth in that same pattern. I'll do a few more, and then I will show you. Okay, so there I've done a couple of rows, as you can see. If I pull on it, it gets a little tighter. You don't want to pull too hard or you'll stretch these too much, but just a little bit. You don't want it to be loose either. And then you can take your finger and push it up so that your, your blanket looks like a tighter weave. So you're going to go back and forth and back and forth until you get to a point where you think it's a big enough blanket for your llama. This one is mostly done. Um, I just need to, I tied this at the end. You can, again, you can try and use tape or you can just tuck the ends in um, in a way that you think looks neat, uh, whatever works best for you. Uh, this one, like I said, I tied off the very end, so I'm going to just snip it off so that it looks a little bit neater. I don't happen to have any sequins or um, mini pom-poms, but if I did, I definitely would put some down here because I think it would look really fun. So. Here's a couple that I made, and here's the one that I was just starting with. It doesn't really take all that long to do. The trickiest thing is just doing that little bit of weaving back and forth, but it ends up looking really fun. Um, I hope you like it, and uh, well, next month is a tree. We're making a, a tree out of some paper things, so uh, that's what's coming next month. Okay, thanks for joining me today. Thank you.